Okay, the Bixby routine is an amazing feature on Samsung Galaxy phone which uses machine learning to automate your phone to act according to your preferences by triggering the functions based on set conditions. Most of us know this feature but there are many who don't make use of the smart feature effectively. Here I am sharing some basic routines which make my life easier on a daily basis. Before I share my routines, let me just quickly show you what we have here on the settings. Maybe if you are a non-Samsung user or someone who didn't care about this feature, might be interested in seeing this. Now, let me just open the settings. Let's go to advanced settings. Here we can see Bixby routines. You can turn it on and here we have got three tabs at the bottom. We have got discover, add routine and my routines. So I will be discussing about my routines in a few seconds. Now let's check this discover section. We have got some preset routines here which you can easily set. For example, if I open this traveling abroad, you can see the if condition here. The machine learning will automatically detect that you are traveling abroad and it will execute the functions which you are set here in then condition. As you can see here, the resulting function is power saving mode. So when the phone auto detects that you are traveling abroad, it automatically puts the phone into power saving mode. So this is what Bixby routine does. If you want to edit this condition, you can just hit edit here and you can add some more conditions for this particular function. And you can also add some additional functions for the then condition. Now the next tab is add routine. Like I just showed you, you can easily set if condition. You can add what will trigger this routine and then add what this routine will do. For all those non Samsung users out there, I hope I gave you a glimpse of what this Bixby routine all about. Now let me share my specific routines which I have set on my phone which I generally use on a daily basis. I have got about 7 routines here. The first routine I want to talk about is sleeping. Of course I have given the title for this particular routine. If you want to change the title, you can edit that as well. When I am sleeping, what I want my phone to do is mute the sound mode and bring down all the ringtone, notification and system sound to 0%. I want the Wi-Fi to be turned off, I want mobile data to be turned off and I want the power saving mode to be turned on. So this is what I have set here. Every day when I go to sleep in the night, the phone is going to detect that I'm sleeping and it is going to execute these resulting conditions. I don't want anyone to bother me with the messages or calls when I go to sleep so I want the phone to set these conditions when I'm sleeping and I don't really want to change these settings every day. So this is where Bixby routine comes in handy. You can see here when the routine ends all these actions will be reversed. Amazing isn't it? Oh yeah I almost forgot by setting this particular condition I can save some battery as well. Now let's go to the next routine that is driving. Here I have set if I'm driving then I want voice wake up on, Dolby Atmos turned on, screen orientation set to auto rotate, read notification allowed. This I really don't use but uh, somehow when I set it initially I selected this as well and play music and I selected the application Spotify for this. And I have also set to keep my phone unlocked while driving and the Wi-Fi is turned off. Again here the phone is going to detect when you sit in your car and execute these actions. So how does your phone know that you are driving? Perhaps when you sit in the car the Bluetooth gets connected between your phone and the car and Bixby routine will be executed. That is really cool. Of course we should not be using our phone while driving but just in case in a hurry if you want to park your car and check out your phone these Bixby routines actions will definitely help you to access your phone quickly as I have set the phone to be unlocked while driving. And when I get in, I don't have to open Spotify app specifically to connect the music. Automatically the app will be opened and the music will start playing. Now let's quickly go to the next one. This is battery level 10%. So here if the battery level touches 10% or below, I have set the mobile data to be turned off, Wi-Fi to be turned off, brightness at 10 to 14 percent, power saving mode to be turned on, location off and auto sync off. By doing this I can conserve battery and make it last a bit longer. Alright moving on to the next one I have set the title as unlocked. On Bixby routine we have an option to create a start button which can be placed on the home screen as an icon. So here the condition is if you tap the start button then what's going to happen. So here I've set it as keep your phone unlocked. 
Sometimes when I continuously use my phone, I don't want it to get locked every now and then and I don't want to press and hold the fingerprint scanner. First of all, the fingerprint scanner is not that responsive on Note 20 Ultra, so I get a bit irritated. So what I do is, I just tap the start button to keep my phone unlocked as long as I want and I can just turn it off to go to the normal locking mode. The next routine is play media with Buds Live. Here when I open my Galaxy Buds Live, automatically Spotify application will open. In fact, you can set any application to open in this section. You can just tap on this, you will see all the applications available here. Any media app you want, you can just select that. The next one is auto-rotate. This is kind of cool. Here, if you open a particular application, then screen orientation is set to auto-rotate. I generally don't keep my phone on auto-rotate mode because I feel it's kind of irritating to me every time it auto-rotates even if I tilt the phone a little bit. So I have set a particular app to be opened in auto-rotate mode and I have selected YouTube here. Whenever I open YouTube application, I can just turn my phone into landscape mode and it automatically rotates. That is something really fantastic. You can set most of the media apps in this mode if you want. All right, so the last one I want to show is Butts Gaming Mode. Here, if an application is opened, then I want my phone to turn on the gaming mode for my Butts Live. Here, I can select any application I want. I have selected Call of Duty. Whenever I open Call of Duty, if the Butts Live is connected, the gaming mode will be turned on automatically. All these are some cool basic big speed routines which I've set on my phone. If you want to set any of these, you can follow the steps I've shown here. Do let me know which particular routine you liked out of these seven routines that I've set here. You can just drop a comment below. Anyways, that's all I have here. I think you guys should start using big speed routines if you're not using it yet. Go ahead, set up your big speed routines and start using it to make your life much more easier on your phone. Alright, that's all I have here. If you're new on the channel, you can hit that subscribe button to support us. And also you can smash that like button if you find this video useful. Thanks again for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.